Okay folks, and what I've been waiting for, the unboxing of the Torque Connective. Uh, I've obviously just got one hand free at the moment, but uh, the packaging should come off quite easily. Let me just turn the light off there for you. The uh, outer wrap I take off, and there it is itself. Don't know if that's in focus, probably out, completely out of focus, but uh, anyway. Some uh, padding, and uh, this would be the two Tanko vinyls. Let me just uh, move my uh, knife out of the way. And uh, yep, that's the uh, two tan code vinyls uh, in there. More packaging. The uh, two talk CDs for the uh, CDJs. An authorization card with the uh, serial number and uh, how to register on the website to get updates. Um, the uh, talk install itself for the PC or Mac, I believe it is. I'm installing it on a PC though. A uh, quick start guide, which I'll uh, read over. A uh, USB cable, it looks like a standard uh, printer cable. Yeah, standard printer cable. Uh, USB into, it's not a mini USB, but uh, like a D, D shaped USB. Uh, the uh, torque connective itself. Uh, yeah, I can just take it out of the box. And there's the unit itself. Uh, I'll we'll do more in depth on this uh, in a couple of minutes. And uh, so I'll check in the box, make sure there's nothing else. No, that's it. So obviously um, what they do lack in shipping is the uh, phono cables needed to connect it up. I believe you need an additional two cables compared to a normal setup. But uh, luckily I've got a couple lying around so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, uh, that's our boxing and we'll wait for part two of setting it up. Okay, and now we're going to install the uh, Torx software itself. This version here is uh, 1.5. I'll just uh, run you through the process. This is the uh, first time I've put it in, so uh, let's see what it's like. And then I'll just zoom up on the screen there for you so you can see what's happening. It's uh, Windows Vista I'm currently running, not my favourite, but uh, that's all I've got on my laptop. And we're going to run the uh, autorun.xx and allow it. It's uh, asking to select the product I've got. I've obviously got connected, which is the hardware, and I need to install Talk 1.5 as well, which is the uh, software, kind of like Virtual DJ, but uh, not as good. We'll see which one we prefer. But uh, right now, let's install the connective. Uh, that's a picture there. I don't know if you can see that, just there. And uh, I'm going to push install now. And uh, right now, it's come up with uh, the install wizard and it's asking, prompting me to do stuff. Uh, just next, the user agreement. I won't bother flicking through, I just trust it's good. And install. And then now it is installing the talk connective driver on my laptop. Okay, it's just finished installing it and uh, Boost is now asking me to confirm I'm the publisher, which obviously I do. These uh, one is getting annoying after a bit. <laughs> I much prefer XP, but uh, let's not go there. And now let's install Talk 1.5.
and we're going to turn program files and audio talk, that's fine. And we want the desktop icon, so we can select that, and that's fine. So now it's just installing the talk software itself now. And that's fine, so we can push finish. And that should be all the software installed that we need currently. OK folks, and now I'm going to set up the Torque connective box itself. Uh, what you need to do is you need two follow cables. These don't come in the box. They're just uh, just standard uh, follow cables. Uh, they don't come in the box, but uh, I had a couple lying around. If not, you can buy them from Asda, Walmart for a couple of uh, quid or dollars, wherever you are. So uh, now if you want to imagine this is a system diagram, uh, from the left deck here, currently going directly into the left channel of the mixer. What we now need to do is we need to wire it through the uh, left hand side of the torque connector box. So uh, we're going to use input A and uh, input B. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, if it's a line or a phono for now, uh, it's just the same connectors. So let me just do that uh, quickly. Taking the uh, left X phono cables out the back of the mixer and unscrewing the uh, grounding cable which is there. That's it unplugged from the mixer now and we're going to plug that into the input on the back of the uh, torque connective. And now we're going to do the exact same thing for the right hand side. We are going to take the left and the right channels out the back and we are going to unscrew the ground connector the UF connector, whatever you want to call it. So that's now unplugged from the mixer. Sorry about that. Uh, so now these are going to go into the right channel or input B of the torque connective unit itself. So they're going to go in there and there. And this is going to go into the ground as well, making sure the other one doesn't fall out. So then that now leaves us with uh, both decks, the inputs in and the ground cables in. The next part you need to do is you need to connect up the outputs to the left and right channel of the mixer. So uh, give me one second and I'll show you that. We can plug the two phono cables we had earlier. Uh, just find the end of the line. And uh, the input A, plug in the white and the red. Keeping track of that cable, and then we can plug in the uh, both channels for the output of the B. White into white, red into red. Okay, so that's the cables, two cables hooked up there, and now to plug them in the back of the mixer. We can now plug the output from the torque connective box itself on the left hand side into the left channel of the mixer. Uh, because it's a turntable, when it goes into the torque connective, it goes in as phono. When it comes out, it comes out as a line, so we just plug it into the mixer as a line. Uh, the DM950 is quite simple, uh, so you just plug it in there and there, as you do, white into white, red into red. And for channel B, you just plug white into white in the line and red into red. Simple as that. Okay, your cables are probably quite similar to that, it's messy and I'll spot out all over your desk, but wait, there's one more. There's the USB cable to uh, USB, which is going to go back in the back of the top connective and connect it to my laptop. So let me just hook that up and uh, I shall move the top. And there you go folks, that's just it moved, which means I can now actually move my decks and use the timecode vinyls. But uh, just before we do, let me load up the software to show you the interface. Okay folks, uh, just restarted my PC and loaded M-Audio Talk software on the laptop. Pretty intuitive, just like uh, DJ decks or Virtual DJ if you've had them. The waveforms at the top, your library there, there's a sampler and some effects there if you wish. Uh, there's also an inbuilt uh, mixer, I'm not using that, uh, I'm using uh, my DM950. Now using the Talk software which is pretty intuitive. You simply get the track you want, for instance that one, 
you grab it, you drag it into the deck, such as that, you let go, it loads up the waste form, and then you can get going. The joys of tank code. Okay folks, that's all for me for now. That's how you set up MLDO Talk. Thanks for watching, practice and enjoy.